<laughs> do you remind me of? What? You know what you remind me of? What, what do I remind you of? You remind me of the babe. What babe? Babe with the power. What power? Power of voodoo. Voodoo? You do. Do what? Marry the babe, the baby. baby. Crying hard as babe could cry. What could I do? <laughs> Ben and Chrissy at Cowabunga Car Diaries, and welcome back to another video! video. Hey Ben, do you remind me of? What? You know what you remind me of? What, what do I remind you of? You remind me of the babe. What babe? Babe with the power. What power? Power of voodoo. Voodoo? You do. Do what? Marry the babe, the baby. baby. Crying hard as babe could cry. What could I do? <laughs> <laughs> right, it, that's been all in his serious, head all uh, morning. Yeah, as I keep singing it, mate. We changed the fuel filter on a transit van earlier, and uh, he's yes. been singing that the entire time. Anyway, that's enough of that. Right, welcome back to another video. Hi, how are you? All good, I hope, peeps. All good, I hope. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Yes, mate. And all your comments, we're loving all the well, feedback. By the time this video goes out, Ben's we'll lights are flickering even... again over there. By the time this video goes out, then uh, we should be very close to 2,000 for uh, oh, the fly. So close. Um, so close. Yeah, just surpassed 1,900, so, which is amazing. Brilliant. We uh, love it. Before we start as well, I just want to say a little thank you. A chap called Sean Dakin, if I pronounce that wrong, I apologise, sent us a message. I won't go into what it was about or anything, but it was a bloody lovely message. It was. Very well received, Sean. Thank you, mate. Very well received. And it was something that we both relate to, and we just yes. want to say thank you, and we really, really, really appreciated your little message you sent us. It was lovely. Yeah, thank so. you, Sean. Cheers, dude. And I hope your grill's all right, mate, because I believe you bought my grill off me, didn't yes, you? it was. So it I was. hope it's all good. Fairly local to us, isn't he? Plymouth. Yes, he is very local. Anyway, what are we doing? We're working on the SUK. It's nothing mechanical. We don't even, shouldn't even have to get dirty. No, this is a nice, easy one. I Something think, I I think a diesel do. anyway, because I've done a diesel yeah. filter. Something we've been meaning to do for ages, because I was sick to death of the little fucking FM transmitter that you left Yeah, I, Yeah, when Ben got the car, obviously, yeah, I'll get it. it's got some lame-ass original stereo in it, so I lent him my super expensive... Yeah, you bought that when we picked yours up. Ooh. Yeah, when I put my car up, obviously there was no uh, auxiliary in it, so one yeah. of the Polish people, I believe, that was there said, Oh, I've got one of these, you want to get one of these? 30 quid! And I paid 30 quid for it! It's about a tenner. I was desperate to have and my And he's done the on. job, but the reception around here is te terrible, so it's in and out of crustiness, and it's you get the engine wine goes through it, don't yeah. you? It's and just, plus, on the S2K, where that is located... We're changing the stereo, by the way, we didn't even Yeah, yeah, that. we didn't get that far. Where the, it's located on there, you literally catch it over on it all the time when you're changing gear, so it's very frustrating. It's annoying. So, put the new head unit in the S2K. Right, stereo, what did I buy? You bought... Oh, slightly way later. Good old Pioneer. But it's not expensive. Uh, it was just under 120 squids. But the reason I got it was, obviously it's Bluetooth, which everybody needs. Uh, it's got the little microphone thingy with it as well, which we'll try and put somewhere, I don't really know where yet. But the main reason was that it's Spotify compatible, it's iPhone compatible, and you download uh, the Pioneer Sync app on your phone, and yeah. you can basically control your phone off of here to a degree, not like our yeah, Civic the, ones. Yeah. But the main one for me was, it just said Spotify. And what I thought was cool, was um, the Bluetooth is a dual Bluetooth connector, so you can have two devices connected to it at any one time. Oh, so if cool. you've got a passenger that wants to play some tunes, yeah, yeah. you don't have to disconnect all that shit. Oh, right, you can yeah, have yeah, two yeah, running yeah. off it at the same time, which I thought was a good idea. So there we go. So Rachel's going to be banging out some Fleetwood Mac on there then, aren't you, Rachel? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Top I've down, Fleetwood Mac. I've got that wire in here, but I don't think I'm going to need it, to be honest. Um, and I got the Connects 2 kit from Dynamic Sounds. I'll put all the links in the description for everything that I've used. And uh, that it should, I'm hoping, just be plug and play. And that, That's it, he's jinxed it now. It ain't yeah, gonna be plug and that play. That enables you to just be <laughs> that little fucking unit in there. I can't see it. Enables you to still be able to use your steering wheel controls. Well, they're not steering wheel controls in the S2000. 
that little fucking thingy there. Yeah. Yeah, you you got all the yours are like dials and stuff in it on the. Yeah, mine are just the right of the steering wheel. It's got a volume in that, and it'd be nice to be able to still use that. But yeah, can't get it to work, then I wouldn't fucking use them. Boom! Let's so, get at it then. Let's get the old one out. The old one out. Well, have a look. It should be pretty straightforward, mate. If you want to hold that. Should be. You get the other side. Oh, I get to go in the driver's side. Oh, yeah, oh, oh my god. I've never sat in this side before. Oh my god. Oops. So, here we go. So, open. There she the is. There she There's is, the though. original. As far as I know, because this is the AP1 and not the facelift, you don't have to take any of this out. Which is a bonus. You should literally just be able to pull this off. This as well is attached to the surround. So, I think be able pull to it just... from there and there by the door and it pops the bottom clips off. Yep. And then you just ease that off the, the top off. So tool. I might get myself a little trim tool. Yeah, you can grab that little set of Stick. screwdrivers up there, mate, that little set. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's got on his nice blue panties! <laughs> Panties? What are these screwdrivers for? Huh? She's one of them. Panties! Oh, I'm not even getting our hands dirty today. I know, look at this. Thing. Did a little bit of spraying earlier. Such a nice place to be in the cockpit. It is, isn't it? It is. Right, here we go. Oh my god, there goes a white light. Here we go. I'll load E. Right, I don't now. want to. I'm open. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh no. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Oh, oh no. Right, let's get the old trim tool in there. I think there's a fucking clip in here somewhere. I think. Twist. There he goes. Twisting bite. That's it. That's I'm trying. There he is, look. There's the bugger. There we go. Nice. Easy as that, look. Easy as that. There's your clips, look. So you can see one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Simple as that, mate. Unlike the lovely Civic ones, as you saw on previous video, when you got to take the whole fucking centre oh, piece mate, out. Oh, mate, what a ball, eh? Just to literally the, get If you've help. got the facelift version, or if you're in America, you've got the AP2, you do have to take this panel out. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah. Because yeah. it goes in front of this or something like that, I don't know. But anyway, if we get the light, and you look down the side here, you've got three screws. Screw. It's just the two, the top one and the bottom one, not the middle one. The same on that side, take them out, the stereo should slide out, and then you reuse those brackets from the new stereo. Apparently. I'll get a screwdriver then. Got one here. He's fucking on it, look. Oh, he's on it, look. He's fucking on it. As you can tell, I'm not allowed to touch anything on this car at the minute. I'm yeah. just literally uh, lighter camera. Friction. Friction. <laughs> Still have magnetic one, really. There's one. One sheet. Put it down there, just to lose. Forever. Why's that fucker not coming out? Don't get so close to my face. Gross. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Get you out in a minute. Would you like me to undo this side, mate? Sorry, we've got it. We're all friends. Oh, so close. Huh? We're all friends in here. Don't know if come out or not. Get a little doof there. There's one. There's Oh my god. Two. Also, I've got to say, well, we have to say to our good friend Darren Beer, who watches our videos. Oh, what were we going to say? say? Hello, catfish! Fucking <laughs> <laughs> saucer. Dude in the village. Down in the village, good old dad. Alright, oh, should just slide it out. Yeah, that one goes up. Fucking beautiful there. Put your fucking car in reverse, obviously, gives you a little bit more room. You've done it, have you? I've done it. Fucking hell, you're well ahead of the game today, mate. I oh, know, mate. Oh, these seats are so slidey. Antenna out. God, try anyway. Which is also earth. Is it? Yeah, so it's just there. Oh, what's this here? Oh, here we go. 
This is uh, stop losing. Maybe they pinged off that the alarm. Pull that out. Oh, get me finger in there, boy. Look at the get me finger in there. That's it. There we go. That's that one out. So just two fucking connectors. Sir. <laughs> Just left me to it, that as always, on the fucking phone for a change. So, here we go. Right, the old stereo has got a bracket on that side and on that side. And we should be able to take them off and put them onto the new stereo. So you don't need a cage, which is cool. And they've also got L and R written on them. So we know which way around they go, so get them off and get them on. <laughs> Why did you get so close to me? Because I like looking at your handsome face. There we go, look, get your brackets on. One on that side, one on that side. Let's start your screw off in the hole beforehand. Yeah, they're a bit tight. Yeah. Um, um, so we weren't recording any of that then? No, not the screws. Oh. We've called a screw and a fucking bracket on, does us? Well, it was quite comical. <laughs> <laughs> Right. right then, all we've done is Chrissy has very kindly ran in the wire for the microphone. Show where we've mounted that. Stuck in there, like Which that. Bloody Anthony. And just runs in down the side of there, across. Don't you can really see much. And there, uh, and into it's, it. it's under there, and then in the back of there, and I say. I really that's that way. Right, so I'm not very good with stereos. I'm not gonna lie. Even though you're an electrician. I'm not an audio electrician. <laughs> I like these things are just the bane of everyone's lives, these connect two things. But anyway, right, so we're just going to figure it out. We're going to make it up as we go along. What, the, what, the worst thing that happened, we blur a fuse. We haven't got any fuses to replace it with. Oh, that's a bright light on my face. Right, so, connects two kit. I believe that these literally will only go in one way. Yeah, because that plug's different to the others. You can't really get this bit wrong. He says, not being able to get it in the L. So the smaller plug in the smaller hole, and then <laughs> that one into there, I think. This is all what came with the Connects 2 kit, all this little wiring. Aye. And this is what came with the stereo. Okay. So, the Connects 2 kit is connected, and we shouldn't need these. So they're non-existent because in the back of the stereo that I bought for the steering wheel controls, it's got a jack input for it, which is the bottom one there. So you've got one for the mic, one for the jack. So we'll plug that in in a moment. And hopefully it works. So anyway, your big white plug obviously plugs straight into your existing loom. And then, oh, there's so many wires. The worst bit's gonna be getting all this getting in there, back isn't in it? There, yeah. Right, this bit's pretty obvious. So you've got a double one on there, but this one's not together, but they, these single ones, I can't fucking see. It's so dark in here. What are you doing with twisting the light around? Hold it up there like that. All right. Jesus. You, a minute ago, he goes, oh, you're like this. <laughs> yeah, I know, because I'm just shining it over your face. Yeah, that's fine. You want to shine it on my face. You want to see this? See all those face, fucking yeah. zits and fucking. I've got no zits. Pupils. Right. Devils. Anyway, excuse the banging in the background. So this is pretty obvious. You've got the big two big connectors that go onto this one. These ones are like joined together. On this one, they're not, but they do go together. And it's pretty obvious that you've got all your purples and your whites and your greens, which I think is for your speakers. And in there, you've got your purples, your whites, and your greens. So they obviously go together like so. And then you've got another one there, which has got your yellows, your blues and your reds and your blacks. And if you look on the back of here, it's got your blacks and your reds and your yellows and blah, blah, blahs. They go in there together. And then I think, look at it all. God. All this to just get your steering wheel controls to work. And then I think that goes in the bottom one because the other one says mic. So that's got to be that one. That end goes in your stereo. You film all this? You want to get, get in there? That goes in your stereo, look. You can see there, look, what I've connected up. It's, that's the bit that makes your stereo work, obviously. That into there. Your mic, obviously, into the mic input. 
input. In input. <laughs> I need input. And obviously, uh, your filming is horrendous. Shut up, mate. Yeah, yeah. aerial lead the into The antenna there. slash yeah. earth. Into there. So, obviously, don't push it all back in until you've at least checked that it powers on and your controls work and all that shit. So, Chrissy, do the honours. Right, here we go. Turning on. Nothing. Oh, something did something. We've got lights, Chrissy. It's something's working then. Well, I don't know how this, I don't even know how this works. Ah, here we go. Radio. And hopefully we've got a hissy hissy noise. Which we have. But the big one is do the steering wheel controls work? Click Let's the button. Try Chris. a volume. Ah, yes, mate. Yeah, me, me. It really works. You and Mummy are the beep. So, <laughs> recap. Connects to. Well, it's pretty obvious. You can't really go wrong. The only bit that's tricky is if you look at the instructions of the Connect 2 kit. You can turn that off now, mate. Um, it tells you all the different makes here of stereo. Obviously, mine is whatever it was. I can't even remember. Pioneer. Pioneer, which is down there. Look, <coughs> Pioneer. It tells you what you need to remove out of the Connect 2 bit, which is this bit here. It shows you a picture of it all there. Because mine's the Pioneer one, it's got a 1, a 1, and a 1, which means that they stay in. If it's a 0, it means it comes out. So luckily, and it's a jack, which it says there, which it is. I don't know if you can see any of this. So it's a 1, 1, and a 1, which means they all stay in. You just plug the jack in. And it actually worked. It worked. So, Beautiful. now comes the hard bit of trying to get all these gubbins back in there. Back into there. Darth Vader. Fucking, is in the fucking mist again. Diane Fossey! <laughs> <laughs> right, she's in. Before we put the cover on, should we turn the ignition again just to check that everything's connected back up? Yes, okay, okay. That okay. makes sense, I think, doesn't it? Oh, oh yes, it does, yeah. Fucking immobiliser, mate. Annoying, okay. isn't it? It's fucking annoying. Like, you're just fucking filming nothing here. Oh. Yeah, what I'd suggest yeah. is now all the cables are pushed back, right back in behind, just make sure that it works still. Should tune the radio in. Click a forward Z. We probably won't get a signal down here where we are. Stop. There we go. Get the computer turned on. You need your smartest talk, your smartest talk. An advert, no copyright advert. Yeah. Right, turn it off. So everything's good. Controls work actually quickly. Yep, sweet. Right, and now we so turn the ignition off. I don't want to get fucking done for copyright. Oh, this video's all over the place. I apologise. Flatten your battery a bit more. Yeah, yeah, we won't go into that. Right, hold that, and I'll try and hopefully this fits back over the top of the new stereo. I hope. I need to... Do you know what? Let me just squirt a bit of... No, I'll do it in a minute. This has got a bit stiff. See? Sometimes it strikes. Right then. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Fuck yeah. me, mate. Just like that. That's that. like fucking OEM shit right there. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Look at that, mate. I'm happy with that. That's decent, isn't it? Fucking good, mate. Yeah. Dear, I need to put a bit of something in there, I think. A bit of splodge. It's a bit. A bit of something. Look at that, eh? Handsome. Fucking booty. There you go. There That's you how go. you store, install Clex 2 kit. In your Honda S2000 motherfuckers. He's probably lost fucking subscribers now on this. It's <laughs> <laughs> it so fucking boring. <laughs> it's something, no, it's some content, guys, and you get to see our lovely faces. Wow, well, a lot of people now look at these. I watched, I found one video of a chap, can't remember who he is, uh, 
quite a very small YouTuber, he's only got a couple hundred subscribers and he, he was the only person in the UK that I could find used a Connect 2 kit. He went through like four different kits oh, really? to try and find something that made it work and uh, this did. But we've both got Connect 2 kits in the yeah, FNs, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. So we know that they're going to work with the steering wheel controls because we've fitted them before, just not in here. And it's been a long time since I've fitted in, like, an old school single DIN. So yeah, fucking sweet. That's the stereo in, steering wheel controls work. Sweet as a nut. Oh, yeah. I've got no toilets down here, Chrissy needs a dump. It's a loose one as well. Oh, mate, no one has to know about it. You always talk about poo in our videos. Oh, it's disgusting. It's so gross. Anyway, there we go. That's how you fit a head unit with steering wheel controls. Well, not steering wheel controls, technically. I think the facelift version, they are actual steering wheel controls. But anyway, shit chatting. Uh, yeah, that's how you do it. That's, that's how you it. stick an aftermarket stereo in your Honda S2000. Mine is a 2003 model. Yours might be slightly different, but the. It's, it's, well, it's the wiring's going to be exactly the same, isn't it? Yeah, of course. And the Connect 2 kit is pucker. Yeah, very good. Very always. Good. We've used them. That's the third time we've used Connect 2 now. Yeah, yeah. They always work. The only hard bit would have been if you didn't have Pioneer, like me, it looks like you've just got to take a few of the. Uh, I might be able to see that better out here now. We're not in the car. Basically, that bit. Yeah, that's better. Look. You've got to remove some of those using that table, basically. But luckily with mine, you don't have to remove any. So no clipping, no cutting, no soldering, no freaking wagos. It's so easy as well, just to literally pop that panel off. Pop it out, and four screws, plug it all in. And as you Jobs know, FN2 owners out there, to do the one in them, you've got to... Oh, mate, the whole centre console. Centre console out. The vents. Yeah, everything. It's a joke, mate, but it's worth it, in then. Oh, totally. The difference is amazing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna have a little play now and uh, figure it all out, set it all up and everything, and make sure that we'll set the clock, make sure that we turn it off and turn it on and the clock stays, because we, we didn't check that before, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, so, yeah. There's no time, mate. When you're driving this, you don't worry about time. You don't. You just go time. with it. It's just, yeah, just, just, go with just go with the flow. Yeah. So yeah, another exactly. video in the back. Sweet That's as, it. Sweet as a nut. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Yeah, mate. Got Keep loads. the comments coming in as well. We'd yeah. love to hear from you all. Amazing. Welcome. Welcome to all the news. And hello to all the olds. <laughs> so yeah, not an uh, overly exciting video, but it's something. Yeah, not exciting at all, really. I'm excited. I can't wait to not have a crackly radio and not have it every time I speed up. The radio goes... <laughs> <laughs> it's so annoying. It kind of sounds like it's got a bit of a turbo wine going on. Yeah, though, you did like say that, didn't you? Up, yeah, you liked it, yeah. And the turbo spools up. It sounds a bit like that, but there's no like nice noise after it, and it just gets fucking annoying. Yeah. Anyway. I can imagine. So yeah, there we go. Thank you to Danny Dino Days Performance Parts, and thank you to Tactical Racing for sponsoring the channel. Toxic Knobs, Carbon Marai, yeah. all you all lovely good. people. Toxic Knobs has got a new knob coming out soon, so I'm excited oh, yes. to be getting one of those. Yeah. Can't wait to do a little review on there. That'll be a little Saturday snippet, Bit. which we haven't done for a while. We haven't done anything little, so that's why there's been no Saturday snippets. That's all it was formal, wasn't it? Yeah. It's not a radio thing, bit. but Chris has got some cool things that I he's have. going to be having into his. He doesn't know what it is yet, but uh, uh, yeah, but I'm excited because it is going to be amazing. And uh, myself and Danny over at Dino Days have hooked you up. Hooked me right up. Exciting. He always gets hooked up. I do. I do. Well. So anyone I wants do, to hook mate. me up with the Skunk 2 Mega Power Exhaust, then please feel free. <laughs> yeah. I know it's about 950 quid, but yeah, that is a you donation know. To nice but yeah, I've, I've chosen. Like, I know what exhaust I want for this. I know the coilovers I want. I know the wheels I want. Um, I know the spoiler I want. Shut up! <laughs> and I'm so excited. He I can't is. wait. It's going to cost loads of money over time. Yeah. But yeah. Sweet as a nut. So there we go. Thank you all so much. We love you all. We shall see you on, on the, the next, next video. video. Peace, Peace out. out. Bye. Bye.